Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing safety measures in physical activities. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Accident is inevitable and unpredictable. Awareness of safety measures and putting it into practice will surely lessen casualties and loss of properties. Safety gears must be worn in performing physical activities like biking, skateboarding, and the likes. Accidents and injuries could be avoided if you are careful and aware of the different safety measures your school and community implements. Safety must be observed everywhere, most especially in your houses. During pandemic, it is also where you stay and spend most of your time. Games and physical activities you do outside cannot be played inside your homes. Let's do this. Draw a happy face if the situation shows practicing safety measures. If not, throw a sad face. Skateboarding in a busy street. This is a sad face. Knowing the different fire or emergency exits in your school. This is a happy face. Ironing clothes with wet hands. This is a sad face. Playing with old batteries. This is a sad face. Wearing of helmet when biking. This is a happy face. Let's do this. Draw a happy face if the situation shows practicing safety measures. If not, draw a sad face. Activity Riding a Motorcycle Always wear a helmet and safety gears. Watch your speed. Use your turn signals. Keep your distance. Use both brakes and avoid blind spots. Handling of hot pots when cooking Always use a dry pot holder or oven mitt when handling pots. Wet pot holders won't keep the heat from burning your fingers. Playing Patintero Before the activity, you need to stretch your muscles to avoid injury. You must wear proper attire, comfortable enough so you can move freely and at ease. Check the weather. If it is raining, better do it indoors. If it is too sunny, put anti-ultraviolet lotion on your screen. Cleaning of broken pieces of glass on the floor. Carefully pick up the larger pieces of broken glass that you can see. Then, reach for a broom and dust pan. Wear your slippers all the time. Playing tops. Always play safe by being careful and showing courtesy. Never run around while near playground equipment. Don't go too close to the front or rear of moving equipment. Let's do this. Right, yan ang totoo if the statement is correct and joke lang if not. Physical activities can cause painful injuries. Ito, this is 
Yan ang totoo. To prevent injuries, go through the activity quickly. The answer is, joke lang. Use proper gears and sports equipment during the activity. The answer is, yan ang totoo. Do your activities on rainy days. The answer is, joke lang. Consult a healthcare provider before going through an activity. The answer is, yan ang totoo. Walking and dancing are activities with the highest chances of injury. The answer is, joke lang. Even handling materials can lead to harmful effects. The answer is, yan ang totoo. Practice lifting and bending whenever you can. The answer is, joke lang. The best zone for lifting is between the head and the waist. The answer is, joke lang. The amount of force applied on your back causes pain and injury. The answer is, yan ang totoo. Let's do this. Fill up the table. Signage. Location, hallways and stairways. Message, no running. Signage. Location, playground. Message, no rough playing. Signage. Location, hallways. Message, don't shout. Signage. Fire exit. Location, hallway, and exit. Message, fire exits or evacuation route. Signage. Location, stairs. Message, don't run on stairs. What signages are found in the school? Here are some of the signages found in the school. No running, no rough playing, don't shout, don't run on the stairs, and fire exits. Where are they located? Are they visible enough for everyone to see? They are all located in different places inside the school. Some we can see in the hallways, stairways, playground, and exits. They are all visible to everyone. What will happen if all the pupils will obey the message of the signage? 
if all the pupils will obey these signages, they will be safe inside the school premises. What will happen if all the pupils will disobey the message of the signage? If all the pupils will disobey the signages, they will be unsafe and may encounter an accident inside the school premises. How will you make yourself safe in school? For me to be safe in school, I need to always follow the safety signages in the school. Let's do this! List 5 ways of keeping yourself safe at home. Keep all cleaning products and detergent away from the food products. Cover all the electrical outlets and wires at home. Do not play with vases or sharp objects. Always keep the doors closed. Fix the unstable furniture. Let's do this. Check the statement that shows safety measures at home and cross if not. Play with your toys with care. Let's put a check. Play habulan inside your house. Let's put an X. Do not climb cabinets. Let's put a check. Do not play with vases or sharp objects. Let's put a check. Play in the stairs. Let's put across thank you for watching till our next science lesson goodbye